Hello, Libra. Welcome. Welcome to your horoscope. So, guess what? Everybody wants to be like Libra. I mean, no, really, when they've polled people, they've actually said, oh, I like Libra because they're so balanced. And now, astrologers who are, you know, there, there's some Libra astrologers out there. There's not a lot, but there are some. Um, they're oriented towards looking at Libra as sort of indecisive and dispassionate you know it's like they're waiting for the other person to show passion before they'll show it back it's kind of tit for tat you know you do this for me I'll do this for you and in some ways this reciprocation is nice it's, it's friendly but at the same time it, it can be a little bit predictable you could use a little bit of excitement that's one of the um, curses of Venus is just things become boring or mundane you get two Tauruses together get two Libras together they say it can be a very boring kind of relationship well, South Node and Uranus together in your seventh house means that there's this radical upsetting thing from the past that haunts your relationship at this moment. And you're not really sure what it is. It's not necessarily your fault or anything. You want to fix things. You're hungry to fix things, but impulsively, you just kind of want to get there first. It's like enough of this noise already. Now, you've got a lot of motivation to make money, to get yourself financially stable. So there, there's a lot of motivation between Mars and Saturn in your second house. And this is probably a good thing. But you've got a really busy social life with um, Venus and the Sun and Jupiter in the 11th house. So everybody wants to be your friend, like I said. You're, you're popular. But they don't realize the inner dilemma you are. And they also don't realize how manipulative you can be to getting your own way just by doing nice things for people. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about now. I, I figured it, you know. And that's why we love you. Because <laughs> you're not really an easy pushover. You play that, but you are firm with your own ideas of where you want to go. Enjoy it. Enjoy the party this week. Um, next week, you'll be working on your own personal karma. <laughs> <laughs>